What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. So this is gonna be a very quick video, but I just wanna demonstrate how broken the new version of Map Runner is. So basically when you hit play, it just selects like five countries for you and they're the only five countries you have to guess in that round. And then the bizarre thing is you get tons of health, you get tons of power-ups and it's just really hard to fail with that few options. I think that we can actually win Map Runner without ever seeing the round. So let's test that theory. Um, this is the first round here. I've just like made it completely impossible to see. So we'll turn away from the actual round here. And then we have our five options here. Obviously on the first round, we have to take some damage here. Um, but with these active options, I guess I would pick Indonesia as the middle point. It doesn't really matter where we guess here. So it was actually there. We lose 5,000 energy, but going from here, we get to jump off 3,000 energy again. Like it doesn't really matter which one we pick here. I think, I think 3,000 energy is going to be better. Well, actually, I don't know. The other one, the other option may have been better, but this at least guarantees that we don't lose. Famous places, I'll click Greece. Why not? There are plenty of famous places in Greece. And it was actually in Dubai, that's okay. So we're still, we're only on 3,000 health now. We'll get the directional marker here. This is where things become like unfailable, right? So we're, we've already done nothing so far. Turn away. So we have directional markers. We only have five countries to guess here, guys. If you use it optimally, we can place this here. And we basically know where we are. It's in Greece. Look, it's it's actually absurd. Look at this. Okay, we'll, we'll get our distance markers. Okay, we'll move on to world here. Again, we haven't seen any rounds yet. First off, we just press our directional marker here. Okay, nice. Now we go over here. Now we come in here, press our, uh, you know, our distance marker, put another one here. It's 44 kilometers away. Probably gonna be somewhere like around here or around here. We'll go here. And indeed it was in that town. Like, look guys, you don't even ever have to have seen the round. And I get that this is made for like younger people, but do you guys understand? I never saw the round there. Okay, let's prove that it wasn't a fluke. We'll pick up Japan here as well and see if we can actually win this again. So let's play our next run here. Again, guys, I'm not looking at the rounds at all here. Let's see, like it, it, it just needs to be updated, right? Okay, famous places, signs, I don't know. We'll just go here. I'll probably just pick Japan for famous places just because there's tons of famous places there. We'll see. And it was Australia there, that's fine. We lose 5,000, we get our two distance markers though. So again, like this should be really quite possible. Um, okay, so distance markers. I think the tactic here is probably to see the distance from Australia. So let's go from Tasmania here and it's gonna be 10,000 kilometers away. So that feels more like a Japan or a South Africa here. So I'm gonna go South Africa next, I think. Let's test it and it's 1,000, yeah. So we can go South Africa here. If that's 1,000 kilometers away, I guess we can go like here or something like that as a hedge. And okay, let's just Pretoria. I probably should have, yeah, I probably should have known it would be there, but that's okay. We still have 3,000 health. We pick up 2,000 here. So we're definitely going to make it through the next world map. And then we get our directional markers and by then it's all over. So let's not look at that one here. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not really meant to be able to see here. So let's just like kind of hedge in the middle, which would be the UAE here. Seeing as we don't have any power-ups. Again, we lose our 4,000. We're on 3,000 health now. But with our directional marker, okay, we could actually lose here. With our directional markers that we should be able to get close enough to get within 300 points. Depends on the country here. So let's actually see which one it's going to be here. So first off, we use our directional marker. Uh, I think the optimal spot was going to be, would actually, it is actually a little bit tougher this time. I think the directional marker here would probably give us the best result. And that's going to be down in Australia. Okay, so we could actually lose here, but you guys still get my point. Uh, let us go for a directional marker in, I think if we press here, that will actually point to the most likely capital city, right? If we press like this, and it's gonna be, what map was this? Internet domains, okay. Guess we could guess Canberra here. Uh, sometimes the thing is not entirely accurate. I think Sydney might be enough. We could hedge between as well. Uh, following along, we'd say here, I don't know. Um, depends how much we wanna trust it. I'll just, go, I'll just go Sydney here. I don't think it's always accurate. And it was Canberra, okay, well, Probably should have got that, but there you go. This was the first take and everything. Basically suffice to say, if you used your power-ups correctly, you never have to see the round, which is too easy, guys. It's too easy. Obviously, as soon as anyone with a brain sees the rounds, they know where it is anyway. So it's just, yeah, it's just a bit frustrating. Like, I don't even know what it is. It's just kind of dumb. So they should change it, you know? But yeah, guys, give the video a like, subscribe if you are enjoying the content, and I'll see you guys in a video soon. Bye.